Hello everyone, this is George Feelgood from HighIncomeAcademy.com. Hello, hello, and welcome. I'd like to go ahead and show you this amazing tool that I'm actually using right now to siphon off viral images with social proof from other people's fan pages on Facebook. It's like stealing candy from a child actually, and I'll show you that in a moment. Firstly, I just want to go ahead and find out. I sent you five free markets each with five free niches yesterday, a couple of days ago actually, niches that you can actually use off page data to find how viral those pages are so that you can find niches and niche ideas you can use for your own fan pages. I know I had received a couple of emails from people saying they trying to have fan pages, they have fan pages but they cannot monetize them and because there's hardly any engagement on them. So this is page data and I had mentioned in my previous email about what it does, it actually aggregates pages from Facebook in relation to the number of likes and how many people are talking about it. Right now I've tapped in the market survival. Survival is not really a niche, it's a market. And the niches under that would be something like homesteading, off-grid, uh, urban survival and something to that effect. As you can tell, there are quite some pages here with serious, serious uh, social proof and uh, edge rank, if you will. Homestead Survival has half a million likes and 66,000 people talking about it. Almost 10% of people are talking about the, the images and content that they're sharing. If you look at this one here called the Zombie Survival Guide, it has over a million likes. However, it's only got less than a thousand people talking about it. I have a feeling what is happening right here is the people running this fan page, they're buying a ton of traffic from Facebook and elsewhere. However, they're not providing any content. They're probably, probably just trying to promote something that they're trying to sell. And without any real tangible content, such as what this tool I'm about to show you does, all they're promoting is just stuff they're trying to sell. And people can see through that. So you cannot hoodwink people on Facebook and hope that they're going to buy stuff that you're promoting if you don't give them any uh, content on there. Uh, we'll go back again to Homestead Survival. As you can tell, they have 66,000 people talking about it. So if you provide your fans with good quality content, images, links, and so forth, they will go ahead and promote your content. That's, that's a given. Don't worry about what they're saying about Facebook is throttling your content and less than 5% of people can see it or something to that effect. Facebook is social proof. If your content is good, and the tool I'm about to show you shows that these images are being shared and they're being talked about. Chances are your fans in the same niche would do that as well. All right, without wasting much of your time, let me go ahead and show you this tool here and what it does. It's really, really amazing. I love this tool. All right, the way you start off with this tool, I'm just going to go into this tab here called Content. Um, let me see what's up. All right, there we go. This tool comes standard with three if I may, uh, categories here, pictures, links, and videos. If you go ahead and drill down into pictures, you can tap in an unlimited number of keywords or niches that you want to research. Right now, I'm busy ha doing Halloween. We are about 50 days away from Halloween right now. As you can tell, I've tapped in Halloween Corner, Halloween Movies. These are actually fan pages on Facebook, and each fan page has its own images. So if I click on Halloween Movies here, it's going to show me content from that fan page, the, the best images, if you will, in terms of how they're being liked and how many times they're being shared. So this Jason picture here has been shared 1,200 times and is being talked about 20 times. And this one here is obviously from another movie. It's being shared 1,200 times and 40 people are sharing it. So if I click on Halloween costumes here, okay, let's see what's going on here. If you remember Pocahontas, it's been shared 390 times and it's being talked about 18 times. And this is also another movie. Could be this is all Pocahontas right there. Well, I'm going to show you how it works quickly here. So I'm going to click on Halloween Corner. And obviously this is, says 87 more days. This was posted a while back. I'm going to go ahead and find an image. I've already shared this image onto my fan page here. I'm going to go ahead and share this image onto one of my face, Facebook fan pages. A great number of likes, a great number of sh people talking about it. So hopefully my fans will do the same thing with this image. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one of my fan pages. 
that is in the same niche, the Halloween niche. And the one I'm looking for here is to do with uh, Halloween costumes. So I'll go ahead and type something kind of catchy here and say uh, anyone wearing a witch's costume. Let's see, costume, if I can type costume this and I'm gonna use a hashtag I'll tell you why in a minute why I'm using hashtag this Halloween no candy included uh, just trying to be funny here okay and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, schedule this to post later and I'll go ahead and choose a date let's say for instance for arguments sake, I'll choose Saturday because I've already pre-populated my fan page with some other images Saturday and I'm going to choose a time. Saturday people are either busy. So I'm going to choose this. I've scheduled mine to post uh, Eastern Standard Time. So 12 to about the busiest times or, or the best times I've found using my own in page insights that people are sharing and, and engaging with my fan page. So I use 1220. It doesn't really matter. I can use 12 o'clock. I use 1220 for Saturday. Okay, now go ahead and save that image. And then let's see what's happening. I'm going to close that and I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on it says posts and let's see what's going on here. Okay. Under posts, as you can tell, I have scheduled this image to post on Saturday, September 12th at 1220 hours on my fan page, Baby Halloween Costumes. And the beauty about this, I can reschedule the time if I don't like that time frame or I can duplicate this image. By duplicating it, I can duplicate it any number of days, or any number of times over any number of days. So, for instance, say you have created or you have gone ahead and used this tool to have three or four images or posts on your fan page per day over a period of one month. You can duplicate all those posts over a number of months or weeks. So, for instance, if I want to duplicate this, say, for three times over three weeks, I can do that. So for the next three weeks, this image is going to be duplicated over one fan page. And the, the beauty about duplicating is not everybody will get to see this image the first time. And the second time, some other fans might see that. So in other words, you can stagger or you can pre-populate your fan page with as many images as possible over a period of 3, 12, even 24 months, as the case may be. I'm only using three posts per day for the simple reason that I'm leaving enough space in there to promote my affiliate products, Amazon, ClickBank, and Commission Junction. So that's what I'm actually doing right now. And I'm going to go ahead and show you again how to, to go ahead. I'm going to post an image onto my fan page right now. And you're going to love this. This is really, really amazing. I was, I was floored when I saw how they go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, promote a page, one of my fan pages, this one here, okay? And I'm going to go ahead again and say, Halloween is so special. Let's go ahead and say special for little ones. Notwithstanding, actually, let's try something good. Let's say Halloween is only a few weeks away got anything creepy for your home yet for your home yet and I'm gonna go ahead and click this custom link what this does it gives me the opportunity to post onto my fan page a post that looks like a dark post that you see in your on your news feed I'll show you in a minute what it looks like so now go ahead and choose a cool image. I have some images here. Let's go ahead and view them. Actually, no problem. Let's go ahead and uh, pumpkin tutu. Okay, I'll choose this one here. All right, this is a spooky image, as you can tell that. And we're gonna go ahead and say spooky image, spooky skeleton with lantern, lantern. Lantern is an hour somewhere there. Okay. Um, light up your yard. This Hall I'm gonna hashtag that again. Halloween 
with the most bizarre hope I spelled that correct oh cool okay bizarre is one R and double R one Z double R bizarre, bizarre um, let's see uh, characters in your yard okay and here I'm gonna say um, Halloween decorations and I'm gonna go ahead and post this right now to the same fan page that I'm trying to promote which is in the Halloween niche you're gonna love the way it looks uh, and it's gonna be amazing okay I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead here and click on post now okay this image is gonna go ahead and be posted onto my fan page and let's go ahead and before I show you what it looks like on my fan page I wanna show you the reason why I'm using hashtags when you use a hashtag on Facebook, right? This is how I'm getting free traffic to my fan pages on a regular basis. As you can tell, I'm in the Facebook news feed. Yeah, there's a news feed on Facebook, and this news feed has the keyword, excuse me, uh, Halloween in it. As you can tell, there's Halloween in there. There's Halloween there. So what happens is people on Facebook might be trying to find fan pages or content that they like and resonate with. So somebody might type in Halloween and they come to the news feed and they're looking here, they see this. Okay, this is like a dark post as you can tell here, right? There's content there, the image is clickable, it defaults to wherever this person wants you to go and there's content down there as well. So Halloween, somebody finds this page or finds this news feed, likes your page, clicks on it and goes to your page and likes it. You end up getting five, six, seven, ten people per day or per week liking your fan page without you paying for that. I'm going to go into my fan page right now, okay? And I'll show you what that post looks like. You're going to love this. Right, I'm going to go and click on one of my fan pages, the one to do with Halloween, okay? Baby Halloween costumes, and I'll show you what that post looks like right now. Okay, I'm just waiting for a refresh. Okay, there we go. So if you have a fan page or you have a post or you have a blog that you're trying to promote or you just want your peop people to click and go straight onto Amazon, they come onto your fan page and this is what they see. Some of the image is not posting or it's still rendering. I'm not sure why it's not. So they find this and there's an image there and everything they like. Actually, I think I didn't even put a link there. They would click on it and it would default to, to, to the page that I was trying to promote. Something happened here. And still it's going to default. Okay, it's still defaulting to the fan page, to the blog, I beg your pardon, that I'm trying to promote. And this is the blog. Somebody lands on here, and I'm promoting Halloween products. They like this. They click on that. They land on Amazon. Amazon is very good at, re at uh, retargeting your fans, so you don't have to worry about retargeting or anything to that effect. Just get the people off your fan page to your product, your money page, and Amazon will do the rest. So my fan page, even though the image is not showing, ooh, okay, these are the posts that from my page. You see two pumpkins and decided to be pretty witty about it mooning and breasts over there okay here's the image is showing right now it took a little bit a, a while to show there the image is showing it's a clickable image it takes me to it takes the viewer or the visitor to my blog on my blog they click on that they click an image that they like they click a product that they like they land on Amazon Amazon sells them you get a commission every time somebody lands on Amazon and purchases something whether it's this product that you're trying to promote or anything to that effect volume is what counts on Amazon so this is what I'm trying to aim at alright I've spoken to the developer of this tool it's so called sociocaster it's about forty seven dollars a month or something to that effect and I've, I've made an arrangement with him to have a link on there for a, for seventeen dollars a month if I'm not mistaken okay you can get this tool for seventeen dollars a month and you can go ahead and schedule it's up to you you can use this tool for a week for a month whatever the case may be if 17 is a bit too hard for you or too high and the idea is once you start using this tool you want to populate or pre-populate your fan pages with as many images as possible of as long period of time as possible and once you've done that you already are guaranteed that you have content people love to see your fan page yes content is updated regularly and in between you post your fa your your affiliate product and trust me this is the best way to make money from Facebook with Amazon 
thank you for watching this video guys my name is George Feelgood go ahead and click the link below this video and get uh, access to Sociocaster you have any questions on my page I'm gonna have uh, a plugin for Facebook questions type in your questions below the video and I'll be more than happy to help you alright thank you very much George signing out peace